Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Phonix and today what we have for you guys is something pretty special. Um, you won't see too many of these on YouTube. We had some other previous uh, videos ready for you guys today. But found out that a new DLC weapon dropped. It's called the Ohm. And this is a DNA bomb with this weapon. So hopefully you guys enjoy that in the background. Basically what I want to do today is go over the patch notes with you guys. Kind of explain this weapon to you guys. Whether it's good, bad, whether I like it, you know, whether it's mediocre. So let's get right into it. Um, what this weapon is, it's a combination of an LMG and a shotgun. Now I know that sounds like an insane combination, just like, why would they think of that? But it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, it's an LMG that's able to turn into a shotgun. The shotgun part I haven't used too much because it's pretty bad. Think of like S12, but like kind of worse. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just like hit marker city. You know, it's a fully auto shotgun. So... I don't know. Maybe they'll, you know, maybe that'll take some getting used to or something. I'm not sure. But as far as the LMG goes, it's pretty powerful. Um, you know, I'm not really a huge fan of LMGs just because of the slow movement speed. But you know, it's okay. I think it'll take some getting used to. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, if you guys want to stick around to the end, I'll show you guys the best class setup for this weapon, at least in my opinion so far. But in case you guys were new, you know, in case you guys were living under a rock the last week, Sledgehammer had announced that there's going to be a full royalty character loot set as well as 15 new master prestiges. So, you know, I don't want to go over all that again, but basically you guys all know that, you know, once you, each master prestige, you get an elite weapon. The first one's the steed, second one's the goliath, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, with that patch that just came out today, that is now in effect. So now there's actually 30 prestiges going on now. Let's see. I'm just going to read some of these patch notes, the ones that stand out to me. There's a whole list if you guys want to go to charlieintel.com, and that'll explain everything to you. But I'm, I'm going to skip a lot of these just because it's like fixed a rare issue where players would spawn without a gun, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm, I really just want to go over the weapon balancing ones because those I feel like are the most important. So let's start off with this one. Heavy weapons increase player movement speed by 5%. So basically, if you use any heavy weapon, you move faster by 5%. Um, so that's okay, you know, I guess, I feel like all the heavy weapons move too slow anyway, so that's cool. Um, corrected scopes on the AE-4. I guess there was an issue with the scopes on the AE-4, maybe whether it was a red dot sight or something not showing up, I don't know. MK-14 reduced recoil. So, I feel like the MK-14 still needs a kind of a damage buff, but I guess the Sledgehammer doesn't agree with me, but, you know, MK-14 now has less recoil. ARX-160 increased magazine size. Now, I didn't see it on the patch notes, but actually the ARX now starts with 45 regular, 45 rounds regularly, and extended mags goes up to 67, which is actually pretty crazy for a, a burst rifle. Also, what they don't mention in the patch notes is the ARX's fire rate went from 600 to 900. So the ARX, regular ARX fires a lot faster now. So if any of you guys have the steel bite or the hole puncher variant, that's gonna be like a top tier weapon now. Like, even though the hole puncher already was pretty good, now the hole puncher is going to be like on the level with the obsidian steed. Like it's going to be one of the best guns in the game. What? Just mark my words. Um, AMR9 increased damage, which that weapon definitely needed. Decreased time in between bursts. So the AMR9, I haven't really used it yet, um, but it seems like that weapon is going to be a lot more competitive now. Um, I don't I wouldn't say it would be used in competitive, but it's probably going to be more usable now. Uh, SN6, reduced recoil. Okay, I feel like that was necessary. KF5, mid-damage range increased. I feel like the KF5 also got a recoil reduction. It feels like a laser beam now. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Atlas 45, that's the pistol. Mid-damage range increased. Max damage range increased. So they made the Atlas 45 pistol pretty, uh, pretty beast now. Haven't tried it yet, but expect a video from us in the future. PDW increased damage. So those little PDW pistols... Uh, they increase the damage on them, so that's pretty cool. Shotguns reduce spread when using gung ho. So if any of you guys know, when you use gung ho, whenever you move with the shotgun, it makes your hip spread like super wide, and it's just almost pointless to use. And which gung ho seems like it would be a good perk to use with a shotgun, but I don't know. So I guess they fixed that. S12 increased fire rate, increased damage. Hmm. Okay, so I guess they made the S12 better. Uh, EPM3 reduced recoil again. This is like the third time they've patch the EPM3 and re to just reduce the recoil. Like, just give it some more damage already. Make it a competitive weapon. Lynx, reduced recoil. Okay, you know, that makes sense. That weapon was pretty garbage. And this is a big one right here, guys. ASM1, slightly reduced initial fire rate. So if you guys know, I'll tell you what that means. You know how when the first eight bullets or whatever, the ASM1 fire faster, and then the, the next, like the last bullets slow down? 
now there is no like first couple bullets fire faster. It's all the bullets fire at that the slower fire rate. So it's basically like an MSMC now, just with a bigger clip. Um, and then there's a lot of stuff like you know rare supply drop error message opening when fixed or oh you know fixed when opening. But um all right guys, so that's about it for this gameplay. I don't want to go on too long, but I'm gonna stick around. And I'm gonna show you guys the best class setup for the uh, oh. Alright guys, so the best class up in my opinion so far is going to be, just run it like a normal assault rifle, you want to run um, stock, quick draw, and extended mags. The reason why I say extended mags is because normally you only start with 40 rounds in the clip, extended mags bumps it up to 60, and it does take a little bit longer to reload than like a normal weapon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did smack that like button, we'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. My name is Phonix and I'm out guys, peace.